Hello everyone. Today in this tutorial, I am going to explain that how we are going to debug any existing Spring Boot application. Before that, we need to understand that why debugging is needed. Let's say we are having some kind of the REST APIs over here, but while we are going to running this particular application, let's say any API is, let's say this particular gate all products API, while we are going to calling this particular API, let's say we are facing some issues, okay, we are, maybe it will throw some kind of the exception. But somehow from the logs, we are not able to understand that why it is happening. Maybe we are giving some input, but we are not getting the expected output. So where actually that mismatch or discrepancy is coming. So for understanding those things, we need to like debug our application and we need to check in detail that what is happening over here. So how we are going to debug. So for that, let's say this is one of my existing application. This is kind of talk means uh, it's a kind of gate fetch and the saved product details. So let's say while we are going to get this all product, we are going to debug this particular things. How we are going to debug this thing? So let's say we are going to put some method over here or maybe sysout so that we can like debug those things over here. Okay, like executing get all product okay so now first of all what do we need to do over here we need to start this particular applications as a in debug mode so how we are going to start this application in debug mode like this class right click over here here we you will get the options like run as or debug as so here we are going to choose this debug as option so here we need to debug this application as java application so after that basically it will start this particular application in a debug mode it will start soon once it will start then we can call that particular api that get all products and also for debugging as we are going to start this application in debugging mode so for that we need to add some breakpoint over here breakpoint means where we need to like debug our application and we need to get the details so over here so as you can see over here after we can start this particular application in debug mode and this tomcat started in the 884 now as i said we need to add some kind of the debugger like breakpoint okay so over here we are going to add like wherever we are going to add this one so we just need to double click so you can see that one point is added over here this one okay so this is called this debugger point we can also add over here means multiple all uh, we can add the debugger point over here so now if we after that after adding the debugger point okay so here actually for the simple logic there is nothing but if we had the multiple complex logic then those kind of things we can easily debug over here so after the adding this debugger point the application already started then we need to call this particular api from the postman or uh, like from the uh, browser also so let me open the postman here so here we are going to call this one http localhost colon 8080 okay slash api slash product slash get all products okay let us check products okay so this will be a products now if we call the send button over here so the debug okay it's coming as 404 api then products okay so this one not record over here so now if we send so you can see the debugger point coming over here so that means we have stopping or we need to check that what things is coming now to move into the next we need to there are some shortcut over here also like you can see there are some shortcut over here this f5 f6 and the f7 if we want to like 
skip then we can directly like f8 press the f8 so that it will skip but from if we want to go to the next step then press the f6 okay then here if we after selecting this one if we click this control shift i over here then we can get the details for this one you can see this what is actually return so we can get this is actually return as the seven records over here okay you can see it is returning the seven records this one okay these are the details these are the details okay so control shift i basically using this control shift i we can get the data over here now again like if we clicked on that this one then equal f8 means it will resume means we can get the response over here okay so in this way we can easily debug spring boot application this is kind of is like simple application in the complex application we can also add the easily debug easily debug so that we can get the output over here in case of the production of let's say this kind of debugging you can easily do in the like local environment but in case of the like production we don't use this kind of debugging right so how we are going to debugging those things so this kind of debug are not possible but that's why we need to add more logs while we are writing any services and based on the logs actually we can easily find out that from where it is causing the issues so this is the overall things that how we are going to use this we can debug our spring boot application in my upcoming tutorial i will see you that how we are going to do the remote debugging that's all actually about this one thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye Oh, 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 oh,